Good morning. Good morning to you. We are taking a lazy-ish type of Sunday. We're going to explore a small town slash restaurant just to snag some food. And then I think we're gonna drive around Grand Teton National Park, find some small trails, explore a little bit, maybe see some of the wildlife and just check out the amazing mountains. It's just, look at those. Look at them. Um, cloudy today. It's a bit cloudy, but still beautiful. Beautiful. Beautiful, just like you. Just like you. <laughs> We just made our way to this off-road place where there's a small trail and we were just gonna hang out, scope some stuff out, which we did, but while we were on our way, we passed a park ranger and then one of the people at the trail had told us that there was a bear sighting and it was a grizzly that had killed an elk. It killed an elk, that poor elk. And it was like right where that trail was, so they closed the trail and we just like kind of hung out, just scoped some stuff out, didn't want to do anything too crazy, so we hopped back in the car, and now we're off to the next adventure away from the bear. But secretly we want to see the bear. We only want to see a bear if it's from the car. Correct. What? <laughs> Those are buffalo! Buffalo! Rachel wanted to hike in the rain. So we're doing it. It's good for you. What's good for us? Hypothermia, no! But all I've been doing is sitting in the car, eating chocolate covered almonds. So I need some exercise. Well, I hope you all saw that plane. We've been climbing this mountain and I'm pretty sure we're almost the same altitude as the planes that fly through this area. I'm not a professional hiker. I'm wearing leather gloves that you wear when it's cold out and you're a businessman. Not a mountain climber. Oh, 
but it's pretty cool up here, I will have to say. He loves me. Trail erosion is real. This is part of the trail. It's a lake up there. <laughs> oh my gosh. You're a child. I'm a yodeler. We were just driving along and out of nowhere this bald eagle just swoops down kind of in front of our car and it like flew over so we decided to turn around and hunt it down and by chance we actually did see this bald eagle as you saw in the footage right before this pretty neat it's very cool i've never seen one in wild yeah and they're I saw one at the zoo when i was pretty long. pretty large birds Right now we are seriously off-roading <laughs> with Hawk and Gladys. Oh God. Thankfully, our tag has the boondock package, yes. so we're able to go wherever the heck we want to find these bears. Yes. We're gonna find them. Today was a pretty epic day. It started off as just like a lazy Sunday. We hit up this cool local restaurant and then we decided to go bear hunting. And we almost found a very scary bear, but thankfully we did not. We did get some great clips and I was so pumped that we finally got to go off-roading with Hawk and Gladys. It was very exciting. It was so much fun. And they both handled it like a champ. So that means now we can just uh, go off running all the time. Yes. <laughs> all right, well, we are actually spending the final night here in the Grand Teton slash Yellowstone area. And then we are off to Idaho. Idaho and then Washington. And Washington, all mm -hmm. right. 
So tomorrow, tomorrow will be our first harvest host experience. Yes, it will be. So we will be staying at a harvest host. It'll be a local brewery. So I'm excited to check that out. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, tomorrow is a 10 hour drive day. So a lot of driving and then celebrate the end of the drive with a drink at this brewery. Yeah. So we'll see you tomorrow. Peace. Bye.